This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction is going to be Sharia Gosho and is it Sunny Dia uh, Chihan and it's got here um, Salim, is that Salim? Let me know about the pronunciations. Beginning's got Amran Ka Asa. So I don't know um, the actual, first time that I'm reacting to this particular um, music channel. There's a reason why I wanted to react to this particular one because my re my um, previous reaction was um, Sharia versus um, Sandia, and it was recommended to me because I'd done a reaction of Sharia Gosho in Birkin, um, Birkhill College, and um, this particular uh, subscriber said, "Look, check out this particular artist because she is as um, she is like um, Sharia Gashel. So I'm expecting her to do the, uh, you know, authentic, classical, uh, native kind of um, elements, so to speak. And what I found was that she is very modern. And as I was going through, I thought, wait a minute, what's, what's going on there? Not, there's no comparison. There's no whatever. And some of my uh, subscribers and viewers took it that the wrong way and I want to read a couple of you guys because I respect every single um, comment that's come onto my channel you know I don't expect everybody to agree with what I say um, and, but I do expect when people don't agree with what I say to be educated and that's what I get even though it might be a slap on the hand or slap on the wrist or a slap in the face it's still education do you know? So I may be wrong in number of things or can be wrong or is wrong in number of things, but I am certainly educated after that with your amazing comments. Um, Ash, um, Ashtia, Sa, you cannot compare them. They are different styles, but Sunny D uh, is very versatile. She can sing any type of song, even Shura can, but Sunny D literally has changed her voice according to the song. That's one of them. Um, Melomatic, both of them are very, very versatile. And if you don't want to explore Sharia Goshel's fertility, then you should listen or react to her peppy and energetic songs like Jahala uh, Wala, uh, is it Chikini, uh, Kameli, um, Bamela, um, Drama Queen, Hey um, Nakak, um, Ashik, Shirenda. There's so many. Thank you very much. Kyron um, said, um, Sunny Dia. Uh, let me know about the pronunciation um, as well. Um, I've got Sunny, um, Sunny Dia um, Sunni. Oh, Sunny D. Okay, thank you very much. The correct pronunciations. Thank you very much for that. All of those songs that you heard from there were all modern Bollywood songs. None of them were classical attempts. Sunny Dia does mostly modern style, even from when she entered the industry in 1996. That her, that has been her style, but she has done songs that are of the classical genres. Um, and in fact, she has sung multiple genres. And I said, thank you very much, respect on that. Um, I've got a number of um, art, uh, uh, subscribers that agree, um, that think that Sharia Gosho is far more better than uh, Sanadia. And I've got a number of um, Sanadia fans that say, no, um, actually it's the other way around. And I think what it is, is versatile, uh, versus modern emblems. I mean, I'm not too sure if and I have. I don't think I have seen it. Even though um, I don't believe that Sharia Gosho can do the Western style uh, riffs. You know, like the American riffs and what Whitney Houston does and everything else. But I've heard um, Sanadia in the comparisons between them two that she quite clearly ha and can do that. Um, and she's got this kind of and she can switch to from a rock uh, switch to pop um, and. This particular reaction that I'm going to do next, right now, um, hopefully I will see the um, the authenticity elements what um, Sharia Goshel can do, because they're both singing together. Um, so I'm looking forward to pressing the play button, and apologies uh, for blabbering on for so long. 
Um, and there were so many comments that I can read out, but I will give shout outs to Ravit Singh, um, Pepe Gamma, Lav, good morning. Um, Johnny Roach, Pavel Singhals, um, Sonny Rockstar, um, Ashir Greg, uh, Sonny Rockstar again. <laughs> Um, stars, um, Miss, um, I think that's the name. Apologies if I got that wrong. Anyway, look, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Now this hasn't got any um, subtitles on there because I tried to find it, but it didn't have any. So. We see two masters at work, shall we? Jalti dhoop me Halki hawa chal gai Mila bharo sa yaar ka Jaab phir sambhar gai Lovely. Are they the same age? It's a lovely collaboration. So that was Shuria and Sandia. And do you know what? I'm so glad that I done this reaction. Maybe this one should have been my first reaction and its first experience into um, the uh, Sandia um, zone um, world, so to speak. Uh, sometimes, um, even a title, Shuria versus, you know, that can be such a potent kind of stance right there. Um, but this was absolutely amazing and lovely, and it showed me. Um, Shani Dia in a different kind of light compared to my previous reactions of seeing her m m multiple different kind of live performances um, of her. 
this one was more like it was more warmth to the soul do you know it really was and it showed me that the depth in her in her volume like even in a natural volume which i didn't really kind of see even though it was there didn't quite really see in the live performances uh, maybe it was because it was so far distance from me where this one was on more of a closer term i don't know why it was a closer term maybe it was because it was inside rather than a um a live outside studio performance um you know on concert or so to speak i don't know but the the wolf in there the the brats that she's uh, that she's put into there and i'm talking about um Sanadia, um that was very comforting and warming and the collaboration what they had to each other you know the, the song was absolutely excellent choice um, number one, um, I wish that there was more harmonies, just more togetherness rather than, you know, um, Shreya singing one part and Sunny Dia singing another part. You know, at the end they came together, but I thought, you know, it would have been really nice that they came together somewhere in between the middle part, just to show their brilliance, how they work together in harmonies and so to speak. That would just been the icing on the cake and send chills down my back. But um, other than that, both amazing uh, performances. Hats off to the mus uh, musicians as well. Um, I don't know how they managed to keep it together when they're, I mean, obviously they're professionals. That's why they keep it together. But, you know, when you are, I've seen it so many times when you are a musician and you are playing for a particular artist and she's just blowing you away and you're finding you've got to dig deep in your absolute professionalism to stay in time, to keep focus and, and support the artist that you're, um, that you're backing even though they're doing absolutely a tremendous job and just smashing out the park you're also in awe playing while you're li watching them and listening to legends do you know so hats off to the musicians doing that um i need to look at more of sunny dia and if you want to recommend which you have done so thank you very much um to look into it deep uh, into it then that's lovely um, I don't think that I'm going to see um, a lot of, I think I'm going to see a lot of the um, modern um, elements of uh, Sanadia um, more coming closer to um, the, uh, correct me if wrong, more closer to the, the Western kind of um, music, you know, with the, rather than the, the classically um, way. Am I correct by saying that? Um, where, um, as you can see, um, when you see Sharia Goshel, I think she was trying to do, at some point, she was trying to do kind of like a Western riff and it didn't kind of, it's like, okay, you know, I see what you're doing. Um, I, I, and, but when um, Sandia did it, it was sort of like a, a natural kind of thing. She stuck with that. I, I, I don't know if you saw that or, or not. That was sort of like f um, three quarters in um, where there was a kind of a librata part where Sharia Goshel went, went to, I can't, you know, um, but yeah, then she went to the, the, her authentic classical um, riffs, and yeah, that, obviously that came uh, that, that came um, off. And then Sandia done the uh, more modern, um, you know, the, the Western riffs, and it just it came off, and it was brilliant. I think that I need. To, I'm not saying that she um, Sandia can't do it. It's just the, the, the fact that I, I haven't seen it um, yet. So if you want to show me, um, you know, look as well as Sanya Dia doing is a modern, um, you know, pop and rock and um, classical and, not classical, and um, ballad, so to speak. Um, she can also do this. I'd be happy to watch that and, and see that. I'm not saying at any point that um, you know, she can't do or can't do and all that stuff. I'm saying that she's absolutely amazing. It was a brilliant um, contrast to what I saw previously. And it was a lovely collaboration as well. Very heartfelt and lovely. I, the only um, small part is I wish that there was uh, the lyrical content so I can actually see uh, what they're saying. If there is one, please send it over to myself. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, I salute you. Boom. Mm -hmm.